I know so many of you are seeing signs from your angels but not sure how to interpret them. So today I'm actually going to answer a question from one of my YouTube viewers to share with you how you can start to recognize when your angels are around. So stay tuned. Hello, my name is Melissa and I am your guide to learning how to connect with your angels, develop your intuition and live your unique life purpose so you can feel more joy and fulfillment and abundance in your life. That's what it's all about. If that resonates with you, do hit that subscribe button and like this video if it resonates with you. A great place to start on your spiritual journey is to check out my new free training on how to hear a message from your angels. You can check that out below so that you can start to receive clear guidance from your angels instead of questioning and wondering if you're making it up. Okay, so let me read this comment from a YouTube viewer, Charlie B. So she said, hi, I'm new to spirituality and angels, but over the year when I've been interested in communicating with them and start moving forward on my journey, I start seeing so many angel numbers and also get flutters in my left ear like a butterfly. Lots going on while I'm watching this. I'm almost 100% sure it's not tinnitus. Could it be angels trying to talk? I also feel body chills when I resonate with something. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. This was such a great question and I'm so glad to feature it here for you because I know that other, many other viewers have many similar experiences. So first of all, I think this is a great sign because you're awakening to your spiritual journey. We actually are receiving hundreds of messages from our angels every single day, but a lot of times we don't pay attention or we just don't think it's us. This has been happening to you all of your life. And as you become more sensitive, you start to see those signs, the number sequences over and over again. That's when your angels know that you're ready for more. You're ready to have an active spiritual journey instead of an accidental one. I mean, every single person on this planet is on a spiritual journey. So it's not a greater than or lesser than thing. It's just now you're being more conscious about it. You're more aware and you're more intentional. And that means that you're going to have more joy and fulfillment from the whole thing. So, and it's so cool that Charlie's saying that she became more interested and now she's starting to recognize all those amazing signs of her angels around her. I'm sure that many of you who are watching this can relate. So I think number sequences is such a common one. I hear that over and over again. You're seeing one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 whatever it might be. I actually, I see one, one, one all the time, but I also see 10, 10. So that's an interesting one. And as I looked at this at my laptop right now, as I'm recording this, I saw one, two, three, four. That's a new one for me, but oh my goodness, how cool is that? As I talk about number sequences, I see that it's 12:34. So this is again, a sign that your angels are reminding you that you are spirit. You are one with the universe. You're in the right place at the right time. And to keep trusting, keep opening yourself to intuition. I don't actually think it's valuable to start to say, what does it mean when you see twos? What does it mean when you see threes? That is kind of getting into the details and the overthinking of things. I want you to just to stay relaxed and pay attention and observe. So seeing number sequences is a great start because you're starting to be aware, but I don't want that to be the end of your communication with your angels. That's just a starting point. That's all that is. Okay. There's not some grandiose message or important warning that you're missing by not interpreting what a number means. It's simply your personal symbols of spirit. So the other thing that Charlie was saying is hearing flutters in her left ear like a butterfly. And so I get that occasionally. What I get more often is almost like a ringing tone in my ear that lasts for about five seconds and then goes away. And so, yes, that is a message from spirit as well. What's actually happening there is that you're tuning into a high vibration of energy. And in that moment, you're hearing that energy. So I think if we were sensitive to that all the time, it would be a bit overwhelming, but it's just this moment where your vibration is really clear and you're hearing a tone of spirit. 
right? We can hear energy, we can see energy, we can feel energy, we can have an inner knowing from energy, we can get a premonition from energy. You are energy. And so hearing that little butterfly, as Charlie describes it, is your physical ears hearing energy. That doesn't happen all day long, all day long, because that would be pretty taxing on the physical body. But yes, in that moment, you're tuning into spirit. And the body chills, I've talked about that on this channel, that's an amazing sign that you are in touch with your angels. Come close to their high vibration of energy, or they come close to you, is probably more accurate. You'll feel chills on your body, and each one of your helpers actually contacts you in a different place. So maybe you feel one on your throat, maybe you feel one on your arm, maybe you feel one on your knee. In the consultation that you receive as part of my Communicate with Angels course, you'll actually learn how many angels you have and where on the body they give you a feeling of chills. So do check out that Communicate with Angels course in the links below if you really want to learn how your angels are contacting you. That's the place to go. So I hope that that gives you some awareness of the signs and the ways that your angels are getting your attention and helping you to know that they're there. Chills is a great one. Always pay attention to those chills. And again, keep listening and watching for those signs but the next step is to really be more intentional about the communication, not just going, ooh, what does, I'm getting a number and I don't know what it means. I'd love you to go to that next level of actually hearing direct messages or feelings or pictures, okay? So again, I have my free training on how to hear a message from your angels. Go ahead and take that next step so that you can really actually know what they're trying to say to you instead of it being random. Can't wait to see you in that free training. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll see you soon.